right, with the flywheel done, it's time to start on the crank parts. So here we go, we'll uh, pop these parts out. We're going to need the eccentric crank uh, connector and the main crank and connector. And uh, we're going to need a few of these as well. So we'll grab a couple of the L parts. Grab four of these. And there's a few extra of the T parts. We'll grab one of them and we'll use that as a, a depth guide. So these can go aside for now. So here are the parts that we're working with. And I'm going to need to cut a one inch length of the dowel. Again, this is the thinner dowel. It's the BB is the mark, is the uh, part number. And I need to cut a roughly one inch length. It doesn't really matter. Um, you're going to trim this back later anyway. But here we go. We'll Actually, I've got a sharper razor saw here. There we go. And so what we're going to do with this piece is we're just going to press it onto one of the um, L pieces. And we're going to use this as a guide to press it through. So we want it to be um, pressed through by about the thickness of, I'll just put a little bit of pressure on this, about the thickness of one piece of plywood. So you can see there. All right. So, and on one side of it, we're going to go ahead and apply graphite. So again, this is where the um, the rod, uh, the connector is going to attach to it. So we want to reduce any friction there. So this is on the long side. So we got that applied all the way around. And we'll apply that to the face of this as well. All right, so you can see we've got the graphite on there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply, get my lid off my glue. Some glue to the, uh, the pin here. And really, we want to get it onto the um, onto the part L. There we go. Got a little bit on the part L, and we're going to press this into uh, part M, and we want to get into the unmarked side of part M. So we're just going to find a small hole there and press it down in. So again, you want to make get a good connection all the way down like that, and it should go pretty much all the way through. Perfect. Looks good. And we can clean up a little bit of these. Get a little bit of hangers on here from the carrier board. You can take care of that one time. Okay, perfect. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a little piece of our 220 grit paper and we're going to make sure that the holes in our connector are nice and smooth and then we're going to add some graphite. So here we go we're just making sure that we can feed the sandpaper through the hole. Uh, 
that's one hole. And with this part, it doesn't matter which side you're working with. Let's cut through all the way. And again, any hangers on you can take care of. So you can see that the, the hole's been sanded. It should be smooth. If you test this, it should pivot easily on, uh, on the eccentric crank. All right. So now we're going to apply graphite. So we're just applying it at the ends here where it's going to mesh with the crank and with the pin at the other end. So I'm applying it both to the face, as you can see here, in the hole. and on the other side. And we're going to do that at both ends. Okay, that's one side. There we go. And now we can do the other side. And again, this is just making sure that there's as little friction as possible when the engine is actually running. And make sure that there's graphite in the hole. Excellent. So now we just simply slip this on. We grab another L piece, apply graphite to one side of it. Again, making sure that any parts that move against each other have graphite applied to it. And this is going to press right down Again, you can use this as a little press tool. And you want to make sure that this, you can see that this is too far down, it's tight. So I'm just going to back that off a little bit. So now it moves nice and smoothly and easily all the way around. And the, uh, when it's inserted in the engine. You, there should be a width about the width of a piece of paper here all the way around. So I don't know if you can see that, but you can just see a little bit of daylight between the connecting rod and the retaining ring. Excellent. So now we're going to trim the pin down to the retaining rod. So this is why the length wasn't critical. Sandpaper and trim that flush. All right, so that's the eccentric rod. So now we're going to do the same thing for the main crank. So for the main crank, again, we're going to need about a one inch piece of dowel. And 
We've got our dowel. We're going to press our retaining ring onto it. And I can just use the flat here to press this in. And then we want it to extend through by about the thickness of a piece of plywood. So you can see that looks pretty good. Now we apply the graphite again. And to the pin as well. Then we go with some glue. And that's going to be pressed into the unmarked side of the main crank. Again, I'm just going to use my blade here to press that all the way in. Make sure that sits tight. Looks good. Again, I can just do a quick cleanup of any hanging parts that are there. Excellent. Now we're going to Clean up the holes on the main crank connector. So the main crank connecting rod is a shorter one and it gets connected to the longer crank. And the eccentric is the longer uh, connecting rod that gets connected to the shorter crank. That's uh, pretty important for the running of the engine. So here we go. We've cleaned out the uh, any residue from the holes with the sandpaper. We're going to apply graphite. We're going to do it on both sides because it's going to be sandwiched between two retaining rings, just like on the other crank. And we want to make sure that we get graphite inside the hole as well, where it's going to rub against the pin. So apply it from both sides. So as you can see, there's graphite applied to both ends of the pin and in the holes. And that's just going to slide right on top of the crank. And then we're going to press another retaining ring down onto the, to keep that in place. So again, I've tightened it too much. I'm just going to, and there's no glue applied to these parts. It's all a press fit. If you find that uh, you've got a small piece of dowel or you've sanded your dowel and it's slipping off, you can just apply a drop of glue. Um, but for the most part, you don't have to worry about that. So that looks good. Again, we'll trim it with the razor saw. Sand it flush. That looks pretty good. And our cranks are ready for the next step.